Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the Karate API testing tutorial guys. Today we are going to learn about how to work with GraphQL in Karate API. Guys, okay, this is very important and right now I think it's the right time to learn about it, right? So welcome to the day 5. Awesome. So first of all, people will ask me, okay Pramod, what is GraphQL actually, right? So GraphQL is nothing but it's a uh, stick query language for an API, right? For example, uh, whenever we, you are using any kind of a REST uh, APIs, right? So whatever you do is that you will basically you cannot query actually. For example, you are making a get request to fetch all the person to, to fetch person, right? It will give you all the person. But suppose I want only one key, only two keys, right? You cannot do that. No query mechanism is there, right? So that's where the GraphQL comes. Uh, client can get whatever they ask for. So that exactly is a funda of the GraphQL. I want only in persons, I want only first name of all the persons, right? I cannot do that without changing the code of APIs. But in GraphQL, you can do that, right? You can send a query rather than the payload and it will give you the exact results, okay? So uh, that's why, that's how GraphQL is very powerful. You can describe your data, what exactly you want. You can ask for the data. For example, it, uh, in, the di in, the, in this diagram, you are asking only taglines. In the project, I want only taglines and it will give you only the taglines so that you can query the data actually. It's just a query language or an API guys and it is more powerful than the rest and it's I think it's a future of after rest. Okay, so if in this example, if you see uh, this is a traditional problem. So you make a get request, you will get user ID or and if you want to make it post request and flow. If you see like this, right? And uh, if you make a get request, you will get uh, all the information about post request, ID, title, comment, and everything related to it, right? But how about just querying exactly what you need? I want ID, I need, I need name, post, title, and followers. And it will, the GraphQL server will say only send you those information. That's why it's very powerful. Whatever the client want, he will get those things in the response, okay? Kind of a query. But exact, as you have in select query, right, you have in SQL select this 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 i and i want only these fields no extra data so that's where the graphql is helpful okay you can learn more about this graphql how graphql is better than the rest okay uh, these are couple of documents so let's do one thing uh, let me show you one graphql database uh, where it is where it is where it is yeah playground so here if you see we have a dummy uh, dummy graphql for jobs what you can do is that i want uh, all the jobs uh, their id and title uh, let's see if I have any other you can ask for description also so what I want I want only ID title and description okay so if you see here you will get ID this title and description suppose I don't want description because uh, I need only ID and title in my UI right now so what I can do I can just fed, get only the ID and title that's how the GraphQL is powerful you get what exactly you want I don't want ID now I want title, I want to see what are the jobs available only in the UI, I want to use it, you get the titles also, right? So that's what you can do here. Now, uh, how you can execute this in Postman, right? So let's see how you can do that. It's very simple. Uh, GraphQL demo is very simple. And uh, yeah, what you need is this URL and you have to make it post request. So all the GraphQL queries are post requests. There is no other STV method used. In the body, you will see a GraphQL option. So here you can mention your query and see uh, you're getting the data, right? So similar behavior, we have to do it in Karate and let's see if we can do it or not. So let's jump into a Karate. Also, let's create another feature file, call it graph QL demo, demo right? feature. Oh man, spelling mistakes, come on. Oh, man. Feature. Right. These icons are coming, right? If you are wondering where these icons are coming, these are coming from the one plugin which is called as Material Icon. Okay, so just download it and install it. I think I have installed this one or this one, I'm not sure which one. Let's install it. Okay, cool. GraphQL and all. Just to copy paste, guys remove debug because we don't want to run file upload now and in here what we are doing is that we need url so we'll change the url from the postman one right and now very interesting thing is that uh, we need to we don't uh, you can use path also we don't need content type we don't need to send any we need to make a post request and the post request will give you 200 
I think it will give you 200, right? Yes, 200. Okay. But payload, how do I send the payload? It's very simple, guys. You have to use what is called as that we have seen, right? Extended ex embedded expressions, right? So you can use query jobs is equal to title that you have seen similar to in the postman, right? This thing. Now, one more thing is that you just need to do like this where you will basically mention request is query and this. So this will be replaced from here. Cool. And this will become a GraphQL query for this API. And uh, let's do one thing. Let's add an assertion that it should be an object after returning. Right. Because we want to make sure that it's an object. Right. And we can also verify uh, like these are a couple of results like right. And I think I have added like for the last one, I think it's a backend engineer. Right. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's add a matching also. So what we are doing is that uh, in the response dot data dot jobs 76, I want title to be backend engineer from where I have come to this by using this thing. OK, just copy the response in the postman go to the where is where is my chrome come on guys there is there is my chrome go to this json pathfinder right this is what i have explained paste here in the data jobs go to the last one i want title just click on this title and you will get this thing. okay just copy from here and just replace it with dollar so this is also a response also you can change it like this also, right? So dollar response, both are same. Respond the data, the title should be backend engineer, right? And we want to run in a debug mode. This is not a file upload, this. Okay, don't be confused. Let's change GraphQL. Because confusions, confusions everywhere. Okay, let's run it. <coughs> done success everything is done i think yeah assertions are also fine let's see the results surefire reports and we have we have we have we have graphql demo report right so here you see this is a text query this is a method and this is the response that you get cool so you have learned how to basically do the what you have to do so how to do how to work with the graphql by using karate okay so i hope this is, was a quick tutorial how you can do that so okay thanks a lot for this watching this video till the end i'll see you in the next video